What's going on guys? Gearing with Hardy Tech and welcome back to Pokemon Emerald the Egglock Run. I have good news and I have bad news for you guys. The bad news is we're not going to be together very long before I have to stop and go do grinding for our next gym battle. But the good news is before we do that, we're catching two new Pokemon. So now after the last gym battle, which unfortunately we did lose um, Mukawatik and Hulk Hogan during. Still kind of upset about that. Uh, afterwards, though, May decided to give us the Go Goggles, which for the longest time when I was a kid, I thought it was Go Go Goggles. Wait, it, what is it called? It is called the... Yeah, just Go Goggles. I always misread it as a kid and thought it was Go Go Goggles, and... What? No! What? Just now, before we did this, I forgot that we, like... Okay. I want to explain something. Before... I started this recording, I forgot that I can come to the desert and catch Pokemon, and I was just gonna start doing the grinding, and I came to the desert, and the freaking tower was here, and so I'm like, oh, that's right, I could go in there and catch new Pokemon, but now I come here, and after resetting my game, and it's gone, of course, the luck, but I guess we're not gonna be catching a Pokemon there, unfortunately, we can't go to the top and get a fossil, but the Pokemon we can catch is gonna be a level 1 Trap Hitch, who... A little worried about accidentally killing him. Um, I don't know if Absorb will kill, so let's just go for Dragon Breath. I don't think... Yeah, okay, that didn't kill. And we should be able to hopefully catch it now. It doesn't put up that big of a fight. Ugh. Why can't we use Trap Inch? I know there's a few Trap Inches in the, Poke in the box, and I really... I would love to have a uh, freaking Flygon finally, like an on-screen Nuzlocke. The only time I've had a Flygon in... Um, and a Nuzlocke was in my Pokemon Y Nuzlocke, and it it died, but sorry, but uh, I'm not going to name you. Why can't the tower be there? When does, I know the tower just appears randomly, but it was there before. Why did I, why did I reset my game? I'm so mad at myself right now, and I just realized I have to walk all the way back up to uh, Wabridge Town. I don't know why I... No matter how many times I play this game, I always get Wabridge Town and Fall Harbor Town confused. I'm really bad with just Pokemon names in general. Like, besides Kanto, to a certain extent Johto, and for the most part Hoenn, I'm like, I don't remember like any names of Kalos besides Lumio City, I remember that. Um, I know there's like Silage Town, I believe that is the one that the second gym is in. Um, I have no idea what the starting town name is, I just... Pfft. No clue. There's Anastar Town. I remember that one. But that's basically it. Like, I don't remember any other Kalos Town names. But, uh, I don't remember. I remember some Unova ones. Like, like, um, Castellia City. It's not, I feel like it's a cop out to just say, like, the big city. Because they, like, the game shoves that one down your throat. Like, remember us, we're big. Because we're Nintendo and Asians think size matters. So we're overcompensating. <laughs> but, uh, the Pokemon we're going to get for Trap Hints is box number... Number, my... One. It's going really slow because I'm actually uploading a video right now. Pokemon number... 28, okay, 128. Have we actually got anything out of box one before? We have, we got a magic carp. I don't remember what that turned into, mainly because we've had multiple magic carps, so that's also kind of a problem. But sorry, Porygon, who of course Porygon has the EXP share. That figures. <laughs> I gave the EXP share to Porygon and I retaught uh I taught stealing the TM to Pidgey because I accidentally deleted it. And I promised Pidgey if I used it I would give it the EXP share. I'd uh, give it er, steel wing, so I had to keep my promise. Anyways, our Pokemon for Trap Inch and not the stupid tower is going to be Freaking Snorlax! Okay, and that is called Munchlax Hacks. Uh, that might be too long. That's five, six, seven, eight, nine, two. That's too long. That's 11 letters. I'm going to have to try to figure this out. Um, how can I squeeze this in? M U N C H. I could just call it Munch Hacks, I suppose, because Munchlax Hacks won't fit. Munch Hacks. I'm sorry, whoever sent this in, but the name you submitted was too long. So, it, it, it was one letter too long, I'm sorry, but I feel a little bad. Now I gotta level that up to 21, let's see what moves we have in a second, I guess when we're leveling it up and he'll learn his first level up move. Hopefully he has something, oh he already has four moves, he has double edge, lick, tackle, and substitute. Okay, well that would have been good if two of those moves weren't complete crap. 
Uh, substitute is interesting. Double Edge could definitely be useful, but I'm not going to take Amnesia. I don't know. I was hoping he'd have, like, Earthquake or, like, something good to help replace Granbull with. And he really just... I guess Double Edge is good because it has Stab and it'll hit really, really hard. But for now, I kind of want to bring poor... Wow, you get Belly Drum that early? That's really... I didn't realize he got Belly Drum that early. Uh, but I'm not going to take that, no. Although, Belly Drum Substitute could be a really interesting combination. Like, the one thing going against Munchlax or Snorlax with that is his speed. Like... He's not going to outspeed anything. Like, if they break the substitute, you're pretty much going to die because you only have a quarter of your health left after that. So that puts you in a really, really bad position. Although, level 21, and he already has over 100 HP. Holy crap. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to take Porygon. So, I'm going to go do some grinding because up next, it's literally like right after you beat Flannery, the next thing you, go, you do is go take on Norman. So... Probably gonna definitely do training for that. So I will see you guys in post commentary. Hey, go. It's here. The stupid cave is here. Right after I start my grinding, the cave of the tower immediately shows up. Of course, but the good news is we can go in here and I don't remember if you can actually catch Pokemon in here or if you could just get the fossil at the top. Either way, uh, whichever one we do first, I guess. Although. Where do you go to restore fossils in this game? I don't think... Okay, it doesn't matter. We can just catch a Pokemon. I don't remember where you go to restore fossils, actually. But it's going to be a Sand Shrew. Okay, please don't die from... So apparently Trap Hinch is more specially bulky than Sand Shrew? What? In what freaking Poke world is that true? Trap Hinch is a glass cannon. Actually, I think Trap Hinch's attack stat actually lowers when he evolves, which is... Uh, into Vibrava, not Flygon, which I guess kind of makes sense because Trap Hinge is like literally nothing but attack and all his other stats are really garbage. And then Flygon is a lot more balanced, so you kind of have to give up the attack to get to it. But um, just for the heck of it, I suppose, I'm going to... Actually, I don't think I have the right bike to... Why isn't my... Oh, my bike button. It... Do you want to turn on Sticky Keys? No. I don't even know what sticky keys are. I don't. Th I don't think I have the right bike to. Yeah, I don't have the right bike to go in here. Never mind then. Doesn't matter. I don't even know where to freaking restore fossils, anyways. But I will meet you guys back in Leverage Town. All right. So Sandshrew is going to be turned into box number. Box number six. Pokemon number twenty-three. That sounds really familiar. Have we done that before? Hopefully not. We've gotten way too many repeats. Six. No, okay, we haven't. Although we've done a lot of Box 6 so far. Like, that's actually a kind of ridiculous amount of Box 6 Pokemon that we have. Um, so, <clears throat> I really want to get a Fighting type. Like, anything Fighting will be really useful for this next game battle. Or anything with Protect will actually be super useful and super trolly. And it'll just make me feel like a horrible person. But life will be really fun. And it's another core fish. Well, we've hatched both core fishes now because I believe there's only two core fishes in the entire game. And we've hatched both of them. Although this one's shiny. So this one is going to be named Damps. Okay, I, I kind of like this name a little better. Mr. Krabs is funnier, but I kind of like Damps because it's a little more unique. But I don't think this core fish is probably going to be super useful against Norman. I was going to say, oh wait, our, our other core fish is Brick Break. And we have like, I think Sword Stance and Brick Break. Ooh, that could be interesting. Wait, which, um, and this one has Brick Break as well. Which core fish will be higher? Because I know this one is going to be level 20. What level is our other core fish? Because I might train whichever one is higher. I never leveled this one up. Unless he, well, maybe he was hatched to level 5. I don't know. I don't think he was hatched to level 5. This one... Sword Stance, Crunch, Crab Hammer, Brick Break. Uh, I think I'm going to have to use this one. I'm going to have to use Mr. Krabs. He has the fighting type move, and that's what I really, really wanted. So, uh, sorry, Damps. I'm going to go look up, though, in like, my past videos and see what level Mr. Krabs is supposed to be, because there's no way he was 5. Right? Yeah, no way. But, um, yeah, now finally on to the grinding. <laughs> So, I kind of made a boo-boo. Uh, while grinding, I just realized that, I guess at some point, I had paused the recording to go... 
I assume like going to iTunes and change, change a song or something. And afterwards, I forgot to click resume. So I think I'll like the last quarter of the grinding or so is actually missing from this. Which is a shame, but we already had like almost 30 minutes of grinding footage as it is, so hopefully that should be satisfying. But anyways guys, welcome to the special grinding time. Um, I've already recorded the rest of this episode and it is pretty freaking dramatic, so hopefully you guys have that to look forward to. But I figured while we have a few minutes together, we would talk about Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Because Nintendo was nice enough to completely prove me wrong and just say, yeah, these are, these are just remakes, sorry. And it's just like, Nintendo, bandits, <laughs> no, I'm talking to Nintendo, not you, but, like, Nintendo, why? The trailer, I get it, a lot of people are like, you know, they did the same thing in the Heart Gold Soul Silver trailer, they're like, it's a brand new world, and it kind of was a new world, you know, because it was, like, updated graphics and everything, um, bandit, I'm trying to do a video, bandit, hey, that's mean, bad, bandit, okay. Freaking cats! Uh, come here, come, come here. You're gonna, you're gonna, you wanna freaking meow, meow with them. Okay. So the thing that I was thinking, like, Nintendo shouldn't have said it's straight mate remakes right away. Like, I've accepted the fact that these are gonna be remakes. Although the whole new adventure thing still bothers me. Um, they shouldn't have said that these are remakes right away. In my opinion, they should have, like, strung it out more. Because, like, watching all these people, like, come up with all these different theories about what it could be and speculating, that would have, like, created a lot more interest. And instead, Nintendo just, like, immediately killed that the day afterwards. So, like, nah, these are, these are just remakes. Sorry about that. Like, now everyone knows. It's like, oh. Okay. And, you know, people are going to be still speculating about, like, what Mega Evolutions you can have. And, or what Pokemon are going to get Mega Evolutions. I'm still, like, 100% convinced that the starters are going to get Mega Evolutions. Because, um, of Blaziken getting one. Although, I had this theory yesterday that, what if no other Pokemon get Mega Evolutions besides the Latios, Latios, and Blaziken ones? And, you know, the other Hoenn ones that already have Mega Evolutions, like Aggron and Maywile and those Pokemon. Because... So far, like, as far as we know, the people that have, like, used A-Save and stuff, or I don't think it's called A-Save, but that, um, a hacking program or whatever for, for 3DS to, like, get uh, hidden items and stuff, the only ones we've discovered are Wadios and Wadios, which, and you're gonna have to think that X and Y are gonna be compatible with Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, so when if they have the data for any future Mega Evolutions in X and Y, and I get the fact that you can just, um, they could probably add that through patches and stuff. But if that's the case, why include Wadios and Wadios in X and Y? I don't know. You know, if why did they put that there if they were just going to end up releasing Ruby and Sapphire later? Unless those are going to be like the only new Mega Evolutions. Like, do you think that'd be possible? X and Y focused on Mega Evolutions, but maybe Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire won't have a big Mega Evolution presence. Like, maybe the only one, new ones revealed will be Wadios and Wadios. Although, you could say the same about the three legendary Pokemon. Uh, besides, actually, um, Dan Deancey or whatever was revealed, but Vulcan and Nonia and the other one um, haven't been revealed yet, but they were in the game's data. But I assume those are just going to be for events later on. Like, Genesect was in black and white, although it wasn't revealed until black 2 and white 2. I don't know. I'm really confused. Like, if they do include later mega new Mega Evolutions in uh, Ruby and Sapphire... Will you be able to transfer them? Well, you can't transfer items between games, but you have to assume they'll be able to battle each other. Can't So, actually, no, you can trade with items. I don't know. This is really hurting my brain, and I assume if they do add new Mega Evolutions, they'll just be able to, like, add a patch to X and Y. But then you have the complication for, like, people who don't have the space on an SD card, then are able to not able to play their game, or they don't have, like, access to Wi-Fi or something like that. I don't know, this is just bothering me. And I really just, part of me kind of thinks, like, Latios and Latios may be the only Mega Evolutions. I don't know. What do you guys think? Anyways, let's get on to Norman. This is going to be fun, guys. Okay, guys, so it is time for what will probably be... I don't know, I'm starting to realize, like, how many gyms in Hoenn are really scary. Like, when I first started this, I'm like, ah, Hoenn's easy. And then I realized Flannery's Torkoal will destroy you. Norman slacking is a monster. Tate and Lisa, ah. Oh. I'm pretty sure Wands Kingdra is like a rest is a rest set, and that is just a pain in the butt. Rest as double team. I remember it as double team, and it is a nightmare. So 
I'm starting to realize, like, Hoenn has some pretty difficult gyms if you don't have a good team. Speaking of teams, let's go take a look at our Pokemon. We have Lelouch, who at the very last second learned Leaf Blade. Oh, so excited about that. Leaf Blade's, like, one of my favorite moves of all time. So to have Leaf Blade... I don't know, I love it. I'm really, it's so much better than Absorb. Like, now I think we have, like, the perfect moveset. Like, we probably won't get a better moveset than this on the Lush. Oh, so. Um, by the way, someone, whoever sent in an egg included Pokerus on their egg, because apparently we have Pokerus now, so that's cool. We also have Elgostia with Nightshade, Disable, Confuse Ray, Pursuit. Still not the best moveset, but, you know, Nightshade hits hard. I guess that's good. Ace with Steel Wing, Wing Attack, and Unknown Hidden Power. Um, I know it's neutral against Oddish, so... Yeah, there's that. <laughs> uh, and Quick Attack. Porygon, or Bolt, with Ice Beam, Psychic, Thunderbolt, and Recover. Kuramu with Flamethrower, Confuse Ray, Toxic, and Quick Attack. And we're not done with him yet. And on the final Pokemon, I was really happy with um, Mr. Crap's moveset until he wanted to learn one move, and I was really torn. Because besides this gym battle, I will probably never actually use this move. That is... Protect. He learns Protect via level up. And so much happiness. I had to teach it to him, just because I've never used the Protect strategy against Norman before. So I'm really excited to do that, and I actually need to go to the Pokemon Center because I am not healing up. But... Uh, as a fun fact, I don't know if I mentioned it, but I actually haven't recorded the post commentary for like over the grinding yet. Um, I haven't recorded that portion of the video yet, so I have no idea what I say. I probably, I have an idea in mind for what I potentially talk about, but I actually, I don't know, I could be completely off. As far as I know, I could just end up talking about like dead puppies. I really, 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 really hope I don't talk about dead puppies because that would be a horrible thing to talk about. Um, I did not pay attention to what room this is entering. The ability to attack before the opponent, just the light alone, makes me, put it me at a great advantage. So do you have really fast Pokemon, or do you use a priority? Like, the only, the only room that really scares me is the, like, one-hit KO room. Because I, while they don't actually have, like, one-hit KO moves, they have freaking Slash, wow, I am in a horrible position. They have Slash, which hits incredibly hard, and I forgot to do the Kuramu thing! I will remember to do it after this battle, I promise. So... Let's go into Bolt, because hopefully we have Bolt Beam. That would have been such a better name. Whoever submitted Porygon, you should have named it Bolt Beam. Wing Attack? I'm sure we could take that. Yeah, actually, we took that well. So, uh, let's go for the T-Bolt. We could take another Wing Attack. And, I yeah, next time, like, if I ever, ever do an Egg Lock, like, far off in the future, and you submit a Porygon, please name it Bolt Beam and include Thunderbolt and Ice Beam, because that just, it seems so perfect in my... What? It didn't die? What? Uh, okay. So we... It is doing less than a third, so we can live another one. I think. Ah, that is a Hyper Potion! You have a Hyper Potion, you stupid trainer! No! Bad stupid trainer, bad! It's okay. It's okay, we can live when we attack. We should live with like ten. Nine. Wow, that's actually almost really close. I'm predicting that. This one should kill you, though. Yeah, I, I, it's gonna kill. Um, holy crap, man. If the freaking Swellow gave us that much trouble, we're actually overleveled the Swellow. And I am so scared about Norman. Okay, the Kuramu thing. I went and looked at Vulpix's level up moveset for um, Emerald, Ruby, and Sapphire. And I realized he doesn't have any other moves that I'm super excited about learning. So... I went to the fire cave thing and picked up a firestone. So let's sit back and enjoy our evolution of the Pokemon whose name I don't think I've ever actually pronounced correctly once. Because I've had several people tell me that it's like different pronunciations. So I have no idea how you pronounce it. Is it Kurama? Is it Karumu? Is it Karimia? Is it freaking Vulpix? I don't know. This is why you should just name it um, Kiyubi. I know how to pronounce Kiyubi. But no, you gotta name it Kuramu or whatever. Anyways, we now have a Nine Tails, and I'm actually pretty psyched about that. So, in the meantime, no, I definitely need to give a poor, poor Porygon in his like first on-screen battle almost gets destroyed. That was not good. So, defense room. Oh, come on, I can take a defense room. I have Leaf Blade. So, I'm only going to be just so I don't feel completely cheap. I'm gonna try not to just completely abuse the protect strategy. Oh, I'm only gonna. 
I guess I'm only gonna use Corfish against Slacking just because I've never done it before and it seems really fun to do that and just like completely troll them. I don't know. I I really want to do it. Oh wait, you might be a metronome user, aren't you? I'm trying to remember what you do. Oh no! Come on, this is stupid that grass is a special type move in this game, yet Leaf Blade still makes <sighs> Holy crap. That did a lot. Um, grass is a special type move, yet... El oh, Ghost Deal, I need you. Actually, Nightshade won't hit. Uh, yeah, I need you anyways. I have Pursuit. I guess that does something. If they had, like, the ability to program if a move makes physical contact or not, like Leaf Blade, despite the fact that it's special, then why couldn't they just be like, hey, this does... Do you have Shadow Ball! What the... F oh, God. Oh! Ah. Why did I use Nightshade? I just said Nightshade wasn't effective. I meant to use Confuse Ray. Oh god. Oh god, this is bad. This is really bad. Uh, I got myself in a bit of a pickle now. Porygon, what are your defenses like? 55 and 54 as opposed to 73 and 62. That was super effective. 40 and 49. Okay, so you should be able to take a double edge better than Lelouch. Yeah, she's gonna go for Shadow Ball, so... Freaking... Norman's gyms, gym trainers, have the smartest AI. It is complete bull. And we have... Ooh, we have freaking Cute Charm now, so come and hit me in my genderless Pokemon. Oh. Well, that's not very useful. I kind of want to go for Recover, but I think T-Bolt will probably kill. It's going for Defense Curl? Why are you playing games with my mind? It's mean! I have no idea, like, what you're gonna do, and I'm trying to pro- No! No! Why do you have hyper potions? Oh, this is bad. This is really, really bad. See, I had, like, a topic in mind to talk about during this video, and I'm just, like, not getting the chance now, because- Oh, this is- this is it, this is it, this is it. You took it! Yeah! Please paralyze with this T-Bolt. Please, please, please paralyze. I can't- I do have, like, three super potions I could use. That didn't paralyze. Okay, that's fine. We'll just use our first super potion. Wow, freaking- I- Note to self, don't go in a defense room. I thought I was scared of one-hit KO room. The freaking defense room, like- Ah, oh, it's doing so much. I think we were at 50 and that took us down to 30, so- Theoretically, we could have another one, but I'll just use my second super potion, and it should kill itself here. It should kill itself. It's probably just barely gonna live, just cause freaking wobble. Holy crap! That no! Why didn't you die? That does fifty. Oh my god, that's not good. All right, my third and final super potion for this battle. This is the first battle where I've ever reached the potion limit. So you're gonna get a crit. You're gonna get a crit. You're gonna get a crit. She didn't get a crit, but. I knew, I knew she'd freaking hang on. I knew it! Ugh. It's okay. It's okay, Hardy. We got this. We got this. <sighs> I gotta go visit the Pokemon Center real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, this one is the Strength Room. That sounds terrifying. If that's what the Defense Room was. And this is the One Hit KO Room. Oh boy. Which one do we go into? You know what? Let's lead with Kuramu. And let's just try to flamethrower whatever this strength room thinks it has. And it's automatic super potion. Guarantee she's going to have a super potion. I know it. I know the super... The hyper potion, I'm sorry. Which I don't even think we could buy hyper potions yet. I don't know. Unless, like, the Petalberg's Pokemart got upgraded. Oh, uh, this is scary. I don't think we can buy hyper potions anywhere. Because you can't get them in um, Loveridge Town. So, let's just go for flamethrower. We're faster... That's actually really good news, and wow, Nine Tails looks really pretty from behind. Okay. <gasps> oh, so as long as you don't go for Quick Attack, I have this victory. You don't go for Quick Attack, and you are now dead. I've never realized Zangus is purple claws. That's actually that's actually kind of funny, considering I think his ability is like immunity or whatever. Like, or no, it's um, I think if he's poisoned, his attack doubles. Like, it's a poisoned exclusive version of Guts. I'm probably wrong on that, but. Gym Leader's Room. Here we go. Time to take him on us. I'm trying to remember what he leads with. I know he has two Slackings, a Vigoroth, and a Lanoon. I don't remember if he leads with a Slacking. Um, 
I don't know. I really, really don't know. I'm gonna go with... I'm gonna say he does. Int. Does. I think he does. I think he, I think he leaves with one. Probably. I don't know. I can't remember the order of his team, so it's like really, really hard to try to plan my team around him. And I really wish I had Hyper Potions because all of my Pokemon have over 50 HP. And I know I could probably go somewhere and buy Hyper Potions. You can't get him in Lawbridge Town. I almost possibly can't get him in Petalburg. If you, he leads with a Spinda. Okay, so he doesn't have... He doesn't have two Slackings. Does he have two Slackings in Ruby and Sapphire then? So I would have swore there's a game where he has two Slackings. Okay. Now I kind of wish I still had Sword Stance, because I could Sword Stance up and then just Brick Break everything, but I wanted to do the Protect strategy so badly, I just, it's like my one goal in Poke Life, because, oh crap. Okay, that's good. <gasps> Don't you dare status this thing! Why didn't I go for Psychic? Oh, thank you. Okay. Tita Dance? <laughs> yes, Porygon! Oh, that's awesome! We trace his ability so we can't be confused. Here comes the first recovery item. Awesome. All right. So far, so good. Porygon freaking tracing own tempo. Preventing the teeter dance is just... Wow, that doesn't do that as much as I thought. Stop going for teeter dance. Oh, I'm so happy right now. Okay. Does Norman Spinda always have the same design? Because I know Spinda has like 7 million different designs it can have. And I, that's not even exaggerating. I think that's actually the number... But I don't know if Norman's is always the same or if that one's always randomly generated as well. I've never actually paid attention before. Okay, here we go. Up next is Slacking. This is the moment I've been waiting for. <gasps> oh, this is going to feel so good. <laughs> I'm sorry. I actually don't know what level Corfish evolves. If it's at 30, I'm going to be really upset that I just didn't go like one, one extra level. Oh, it feels good. It feels good. Don't worry, guys. His Lanoon. Oh, he's countering. Interesting. Um, his Lanoon and his Vigoroth are probably going to give me a lot of problems. I just, I got to troll the slacking, guys. I got to do it. Wow, that doesn't do very much. Okay, I will speed up these turns where, like, actually, I might as well just speed up the slacking battle because he can't touch me at all. So, <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. This just feels so good because for years, slacking gave me so much trouble. And now I'm just, Hyper Potion? What? You didn't use a Hyper Potion? Okay, but to just completely troll and break slacking like that felt really, really good. And, like, I think normally the only way you can get Protect at this point in the game is if you catch a Wingle. So, it felt really nice. Um, let's go with... Let's go with Ace. We haven't had... Ace hasn't had a battle on screen yet. So, Bold has had one and he's the newcomer. Um, Corf Mr. Krabs had one, and he's the newcomer, so we might as well give Ace one as well. I kind of want to know what this hidden power is. Let's see, Pidgeotto's weak to electric, so it might be ground, because he's also weak to ice, and he's weak to rock. It very well could be ground, because that would hit rock, and that would hit, um, electric. Ah, well, we'll just go with wing attack. Facade. Oh, poop. Actually, no, that doesn't do over half. Okay. Well, I'm at a decent boot. Well, I do even less. Holy crap. You know what? Let's just see what the hidden power is. Just to see, like, if it's neutral, then we know it's not fighting. I don't know why I'd think it is fighting. Okay, it's not fighting. Well, now we know. Uh, but now we also know I have to switch out because I can't keep taking facades. <laughs> that is such a powerful move. I kind of want to give facade to Pidgeotto. But at the same time, I might just give Pidgeot. Um, whoa! That was a crit. Okay. Do I go for Flamethrower? Because I might burn it, and that would just... If I burn it, it's basically a good game for me. Because Facade is going to wreck everything except El Ghostio. Okay, it killed it anyways. And um, with El Ghostio, Vigoroth has Feign Attack. Although, I don't think Feign Attack would do very much. Because it's like... Uh, Vigoroth's special attack isn't very good. For the final battle, which is Lanoon, let's go with Lelouch, because I don't believe we actually used him yet. I want to see that we played animation. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. I love we played so much. When I had, when I was younger, I had a Grovile plushie. Grovile, one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. We played one of my favorite moves of all time. This is like Poke Orgasm for me right now, guys. You have no idea. I love this. I really hope he goes for um, Belly Drum. That would be really funny. He went for Facade. That's too bad. That does a lot. Um, and what was I going to say? 
I don't remember. I'm gonna be really sad when we go viral. We got the crit! Finally, we get crit payback! So, the gym trainers... Harder than Norman, although I did completely break his slacking, and I feel a little bad about that. And when I get the Swords Dance TM, I'll probably replace Protect with Swords Dance, just because... I don't know, I might just get a fourth attacking move, because I'm an all-out attacker. That's just my strategy. It somewhat works for me. <gasps> and we're going to get served! It's better than Crab Hammer, because it doesn't freaking miss. When I was training, I missed Crab Hammer so much. That was so annoying. But now the fact that Crab Hammer, that Surf can't miss, you know, unless we have Accuracy Drops... That's going to feel really, really awesome. Hi, you're going to come give me surf? Oh, there you are, Herdy. Please come with me. I have something for you. Wow, if I was, like, just sitting in a room with my dad and some stranger, like, my dad has never met before comes in and is like, Hey, can I have a private moment with your son? I want to give him something. I would be, like, really upset if my dad's like, Yeah, sure, have my son. Just remember to lube him up. I would be like, Dad, you, you ever failed me. You failed me so much. Can't believe you just gave me to this guy. That made me so sad. But this guy is going to give us surf. Wally's dad, I'm sorry, is going to give us surf. Which means we can now surf. And we're also probably going to go get the Thunderbolt TM next episode. But that is going to wrap it up for us today, guys. Four or five gym badges now. And next time we'll be making our way towards Winona, which you know, I'm very scared about. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to click the like button down below. Until next time, I'm Marty Tech. Yo, yo. Peace.